Hello. G'day and welcome back to Steve's Bikes. I've recently purchased a Shoei GT Air 3 with the integrated Senna SRL3 Bluetooth intercom. So this video is not really a review of the GT Air 3 because there are plenty of those on YouTube. What I want to do with this video is test the GT Air 3 for wind noise and in particular with the setup I have on my bike. Part of the challenge I have for a Bluetooth headset is I need to be able to connect to my iPhone. I also need to be able to connect to a Senna SR10 Bluetooth adapter so I can go riding with my mates at the Como crew who still use CB radios with a Bluetooth adapter. I need to be able to interface into my Garmin Zumo X-T2 GPS navigation unit and when I'm out with my partner and she's riding on her Vespa we like to be able to communicate and she has an Interphone Tour Bluetooth headset on her Nolan helmet. If this in itself wasn't enough of a challenge, I also have poor hearing through years of motorbike riding and I need hearing aids these days. I don't wear hearing aids when I have my helmet on, but I do put in earplugs to ensure that I don't do any more damage to my hearing. If you're after a detailed review of the Shoei GT Air 3, have a look at this one from Champion Helmets. My initial impressions of the Shoei GT Air 3 are that it is comfortable and I really like the way that it's been custom designed for the Senna SRL3 Bluetooth communication system. This video is more of a practical test to see how it works for me. I went shopping for a new helmet at Moto City in Wollongong near where I live and the guys there have got a great selection. I had a look at the GT Air 2 and Jimmy put me on to the GT Air 3, which was new in stock, along with the Senna SRL3 Bluetooth communication system. Once I decided which model to buy, Jimmy helped out by installing it for me so I could pick it up in a couple of days' time. Thanks very much for doing a great job, Jimmy. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Good on you, Enjoy. Mate. See ya. I was replacing my seven-year-old Shark Carbon Fibre, which had served me well, but it was definitely showing signs of wear and tear. I also had attached to that a Cardo G9 communication unit that was great in its day, but it's seen better times. So let's get the GT Air 3 set up and take it out for a test ride and do a bit of a wind noise check. I don't think anyone could have designed a helmet for these ears. Hello. Phone connected. Device connected. FM on. 97.3. On the Sunshine Coast, about to stride out onto John Kane Arena against Francisco. FM on. As my partner was not with me at the time of doing these tests, the Senna was looking for her helmet, but couldn't connect. Intercom failed. Try again later. Intercom failed. Try again later. So I'm going to test the wind noise, and I figured what I'll do is I'll put the helmet on, and I'll see if I can wire it up with a microphone inside round about where my ears are to get some idea of what the wind noise is like. There are a number of voice commands to get your head around and I did find they stopped working above about 30 or 40 kilometers per hour. Hey Senna, check battery. Check battery. Battery level is high. After a brief test after a brief initial run around some of the suburban streets, I realised that the default settings for the volume were just too low. So I returned home and readjusted the volume on all of the devices. I started the second test with all devices volume set to maximum and the Senna app set to maximum as well. At up to 50 km per hour in the suburban setting there was negligible wind noise and the FM radio GPS music were all audible. 
However, I really couldn't hear the FM radio above about 60 kilometres per hour. The CB radio was fine in this you test as well. Yeah, good. I'm not far in front. Out of the suburban streets, however, wind noise started to become a problem above about 70 kilometres per hour. On our mid-range street at 80 kilometres per hour, wind noise was obvious, FM radio no longer was audible, but GPS music and CB radio were still operable. Voice commands, however, no longer functioned. Once you're at maximum highway speeds of 110 kilometers per hour, the wind noise just makes everything inaudible. The voice commands can be really frustrating as they really stop working with any wind noise at all. Hey Sina, check battery. Check battery. And the FM radio, especially using the voice command, is only really useful at low speed. On the Sunshine Coast, about to stride out onto John Kane Arena against Francisco. So let's get back home and I'll give you a summary of what I found. Remembering in particular that I have poor hearing and I also wear earplugs while I'm riding, so this will make it a little harder for me to hear the centre unit. But it may not be that different from many other older riders my age. So I do encourage you to have a look at the review by Champion Helmets, who also did a noise review with the Shui GT Air 3. Wind noise was measured at 98 decibels, which is one of the better helmets on the market. However, 98 decibels is still a very loud noise, especially if you're subject to it continuously. That's one of the reasons I wear earplugs. So in summary, I would say that the Shui GT Air 3 is certainly a comfortable, very well-made helmet. The Senna SRL 3 is neatly integrated into the helmet and is a quality unit. It's not as quiet as I had hoped. FM radio and voice commands pretty well stop working at about 50 kilometres an hour. The GPS, music and CB radio are all good up to about 90 kilometres an hour, but with my hearing and earplugs, above 90 kilometres an hour, or certainly above 110, they become yeah, inaudible. Like up there. It's on the left, on a, uh, a large uh, right sweeping bend. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Subscribe now and let's ride.